In today's episode of Open at Microsoft, I have with me Eduardo, and we'll be talking about Fairplay, a project for startup and manage your videos. You don't want to miss this one. Hey, Eduardo, very happy to have you on the show today. Uh, I'm very excited about this new project that you start. So can, it, can you tell us more about Fairplay? Hello, Frank. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Um, really glad to be here. So yeah, Fairplay, it's basically, well, it was designed originally as a YouTube competitor, uh, but eventually I transforming it to become a set of pre-built open source software for entrepreneurs. Uh, so they can actually make their own software and reduce their costs when they're creating their own startups. Um, so this is one of the projects in a Fairplay category, actually, which is that set that I was mentioning. And yeah, it has some of the functionality that you will find in other uh, video sharing portals, like you can play the videos, right? And have like the lifetime sessions, the what's type, when it was published, right? So when you have uploaded, if you are a creator and you have to create a role in here, you can go to the list of videos and it will show you the list of videos that you have published, right? And you can, you here, you have additional functionality that is powered by generative AI. So one of the things that you can do is that you can create thumbnails based on your specific videos data. Uh, where I'm using the video title and the video transcripts. Uh, when you upload the videos, they are processed using Azure Video Indexer. And Azure Video Indexer gives you the transcripts in multiple languages. So I'm using that as a source to create the thumbnails. So here are some of the thumbnails that have already been created. And if I go and hit like the create new thumbnail, you will um, use a prompt that is configured. Uh, everything is data driven and configured through the database. So we will get the base prompt, mix it with the um, video specific data, and it will create the new thumbnail based on that. One of the good things about that is that I'm also having an uh, administrative portal when you can improve your prompts. Right. So if you see some of these prompts that we're showing here are kind of a uh, cartoonish style, but the latest ones are more photorealistic style. And that was basically because I had changed the prompt. Uh, so these ones are more photorealistic. Okay. Yeah, that's so one of the you, could, you could have your proper style for, uh, for all your videos. So you can like, there's kind of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, a trend, like something like that. Yes. Um, eventually I may add more functionality in here so they can choose, but right now they are predefined prompts for administration portals. Right. That's great. And you can. Um, and, and you're using Blazor as a application? Yes. Um, actually, currently it's using Blazor, uh, Blazor web app with the .NET 9 previews. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, trying to, one of the rules that I have in the fair play category of projects is actually being in the latest version as soon as possible, right? And since this is still development, I just wanted to play out with, <laughs> with the uh, latest version of the update. Right. Yeah. Right. I noticed okay. also the icons coming from Fluent UI Blazor. We had an episode about that uh, previously on, on the show. That's a third Yeah. Uh, actually, I believe that was from when I started using it. Using it, uh, I've seen a couple of videos about that, and I, I like it a lot. I like uh, it too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the other thing that you can do is create infographics, right? Which is a little bit. They have the same. It's similar infographics functionality, but infographics are more yeah. to show you data, right? Yeah. So you have to set up there. Okay. Um, Infographics about your analytics or infograph infographics to share on social or something like that? They are to share on social media, right? Um, basically, this is a lot of information that you can generate so you can publish on your uh, social media. Like, for mm -hmm. example, we also have these, uh, you can create LinkedIn posts, right? So in here, I have already created one for this video and you have some samples of posts that you can add to your social media, right? Okay. 
yep. or 30 days, right? So if you are not a digital market, market person, right? If you have no experience of that, this will help you this to get a basic idea. For that. Okay. So you can see there are a lot and you can, you can choose. And, and can you then send it to LinkedIn directly from this app? No, uh, right now you have to copy and paste. Right? Okay, but is it part of like like the future plan? Is it on the roadmap to like be able to like stay from here and say, "Yep, this is my my snippet of text, and let's send it everywhere"? Or? Okay. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really considered that, but uh, it could be a possibility. Actually, it's a good possibility to be able to share it. Right. So it will be it will be good. Right. A lot of reasons for this. Well, that's great. I so, like it. So something else that you can do in here is generate passive income ideas, right? So one of the purposes of Airplay Group is so that creators and um, users can make some living base here, right? And so for creators, one of the functionality is actually uh, creating um, passive income ideas, right? Some recommendations that they may want to have. Right. So this okay. is like, what will you do? For example, in week one, you can report with your video, you can create infographics, you can develop a download content, right? Uh, so use satellite links, it will give you like, some of the recommendations that you could do. Kind of a marketing talent that is something. Right. I like it, I like it. Before we, we jump on and and uh, like and show how people can uh, can help you, is there anything else you want to show about about Airplay? Uh Yeah, one of the latest things is actually a recommendation. So, for example, if you don't if you're stuck with new ideas or videos, it will also give you some recommendations based on the latest videos that you publish in the portal. Also, you can get that with AI, so you have to get a couple of those. Uh, ideas for the new video. We actually create some kind of base strip so you can create a video base of that for give you some hits. Oh, okay. like it. That's cool. So thanks. You, you, you just started that project, right? Uh, not really. Um like oh, I do know. have more than two years of existence, right? Um but I recently moved it to a uh, new repository of their uh, the Aspire solution. So it's um it's kind of uh, waiting for feedback and it has a lot of uh, changes based on the original idea. It, it has a call for the original person. Okay, that's why the, the, on the repo, it, it looked like newer because I was looking on, uh, prior to like record, I was looking at the, the repository and talking about this repository, you wanna show us because I think you have a lot of information over there and people can help you. What how can people, in fact, how our audience here can help you with this project? Sure. Um, so one of the things that I can do is, of course, go to the repository and share the repository, give it a star, right? And we have it here, a list of issues, right? So they can add like future requests, right? They can help. Uh, they can help solve them if they want, right? Uh, okay. The wiki. I mean, the, the readme actually has information for to go to road and everything, right? And here that I have a wiki, right? As you can see in yep. here, I have uh, the usual menu that you have in the wikis and a custom menu in here, where you yep. can uh, have everything like from how to configure and how to deploy and what is the actual uh, project itself. Like have the, this, here is the user model actually. I saw when you use the application. Right? I love it. So you already have a lot of documentation to help people get on board and like providing feedback. So that's pretty cool. So for someone who thinks that like they're getting startup, have good ideas and they would like to use this tool, it's a perfect time to jump in because like they can help you. You're open to uh, ideas. So if I think like, oh yeah, it would be great if that feature is in or like, oh, like this is not working. Like, I think there is like this ex exception here or something like that. They can provide feedback and even help, I'm guessing. From, I, yes. From I... Yes, definitely. And yeah, actually, the other day, someone helped uh, 
uh, it was just a small change in the readme that it has a uh, spelling of a word that I haven't even realized. And yeah, so I just went and, and changed it. Right. So people check this so we'll make sure to put all the link in the description so people can find it very easily. Thank you a lot, Eduardo, for your time sharing this pretty cool project. And I wish you luck uh, for the success of uh, Fairplay. Uh, thanks a lot. And thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, happy to help. Thank you.